All right, just finishing up um, what we were talking about with our determinants of supply from earlier, the previous video. Uh, so there are six things that we need to remember oopsie, about <clears throat> what shifts a supply curve. Remember, a shift is different than a movement along a supply curve. So the price and availability of inputs or resources, um, the number of sellers or individuals or firms supplying whatever it is to be supplied in that market. Uh, new technology can uh, shift supply. Typically that shifts supply out when new technology is made available, making production more efficient and things like that. Um, government axes, uh, action in terms of taxes and subsidies can shift uh, supply in or out, although when we graphically represent taxes, um, that's the one only time that we make a vertical shift to the supply curve, um, though it's not really a shift. That's why we move it vertically. Um, here's a definition for subsidy. The uh, opportunity cost of alternative production, meaning, say, you know, if uh, I am LeBron James and I work for Kinko's, right? Well, the opportunity cost for LeBron, LeBron James to work for Kinko's is really, really high, probably much higher than that of any other Kinko's employee, um, seeing as he could go into the NBA and make millions of dollars of contracts and, you know, celebrity endorsements and things of that nature. Um, and the expectation of future profits. So, um, you know, that's usually has have to do with uh, what firms choose to produce. You know, if you think that there's going to be a, a big boom or increase in demand or something, um, you know, if you think that that the future profit in this industry is going to be very high, then that's going to uh, cause firms to want to get involved. And uh, likewise, firms to exit an industry if future profit is expected to be low. Um, the one thing to always remember is that a change in price does not shift the curve. It only causes a movement along the curve. And it's easy to get tripped up on that. You just need to really, really be very detailed and, uh, and conscious of monitoring what you're reading and what the question is asking you. Is it a shift of supply or is it a shift, or excuse me, a change in the quantity supplied? So a change in supply versus a change in the quantity supplied. A change in price makes a change in the quantity supplied, and that indicates a movement along a supply curve. Um, so you can uh, practice by recording this chart into your notes. If you need to take a moment to do that, you can pause the video now. So what this is asking you to do in, in each of these uh, scenarios, is it a shift to the left or the right, or, or in which determinant is it? An increase and incre a decrease or a shift and a shift left or right. Remember, if you find an increase, it should always be a shift right. And if you find a decrease, it should always be a shift left. So the answer to questions two and three should be linked. Um, you should not ever have decrease with a shift right or increase with a shift left. So here's all of the questions, the six scenarios. If you'd like to pause the video now, you can do that. All right, and I'll give you the answers to these six. So mad cow disease, killing off 20% of cows. For the determinant, you should have price and availability of inputs and an inward shift or a decrease or end decrease. Price of hamburgers increases 30%. That is a change in quantity supplied and not a change in the supply curve. Supp supply curve will not shift with number two. Um, that's the kind of pitfall I was talking about before. Be very careful in how you're reading the questions. Um, government taxes burger producers. That is the determinant is government action and will cause a decrease or inward shift in the supply of burgers. Um, restaurants can produce burgers and or tacos. A demand increase causes the price for tacos to increase 500%. That is a... Uh, the determinant there is cost of alternative production. Um, in this case, the opportunity cost of producing burgers is very, very high because in the taco market, prices have gone way up. So the restaurant could make more money producing 
tacos. Number five, new bun making technology cuts production time in half. That is an outward shift in the supply curve, a shift to the right um, because of technology. And then minimum wage increases to $20. That is an inward shift in supply or decrease in supply. And that is the determinant of cost and availability of inputs. The end.